Why don't we win Scarborough and see which one? Thank you, To Bradford? To Bradford. I go back quite a lot because uh, it's where all my success came when I was in Bradford. I, I love Bradford. Because I didn't want to, I didn't want to be knocked out. I felt embarrassed of going uh, down five times. Yeah. But I felt proud when I got up five times. Okay. What was it like in the ring, and did you have a nickname? I didn't actually have one. What they used to call me was the Big Yorkshire Man. Big Yorkshire, did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Couldn't call you a Little Yorkshire Man. Well, not <laughs> particularly. Did he in the army, and why did he? Someone took you out the box. So, well, I wasn't actually in the army. I was in the TNAVR, Territorial Army Volunteer Regiment, and I was in the 12th, 13th the, the Parachute Regiment. And uh, one day, this, this sergeant major came up to me, and, and these issues, exactly as he said it, were having a were having a boxing contest in April. This was January. Uh, he went, uh, don't you do us heavyweight? And I said, sir, I've never boxed in my life. He said, well, go to your local gym and learn. What is it like going back to Bradford? I was absolutely frightened to death. I've never seen anything like it in my life. There was just thousands and thousands of people. And you think to yourself, what's all this for this place? I saw a cab before me. What was it like fighting Muhammad Ali? One of the greatest moments of my life. Besides Janet and my three children, that's the best always thing. But in meeting someone that you've only read about, you watched from being a kid, and then stepping into the room with him, it was absolutely phenomenal. And I actually thought I was going to beat you. Because if I didn't think that, I wouldn't have been there. Um, I was wondering, are you and Muhammad Ali still friends? Yes, we are, believe it or not. He sent me um, um, a book on his life story over. And he put on to my friend, Richard. 